ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣದ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಶಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಭವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತ್ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಶ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶೆ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ್ಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಯದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತ್ಪಾಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಂಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ್ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಜಾಂಗ ಬಮ್ಮ ಬರುಣೇಂದರುದ್ಧ ಮರುತೋ ಸ್ತುನ್ವಂತಿ ದೀಪೈಸ್ತಬೈ 
वेदांगपदक्रमोपनिषद गायती यम सामगा धैनावस्थित तदगतेन मनसा पश्य योगिना यशं तम न विदु सुरासुरगण देवाय तस्म नम जांग ब्रह्म बरुणेन्दुदमृत सुन्मती दिव्यस्तव वेदांगपदक्रमोपनिषद गायती यम सामगा धैनावस्थित तदगतेन मनसा पश्य योगिना यशं तम न विदु सुरासुरगण देवाय तस्म नम गौरिया गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमांश जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट बैसदेव गोस्वामी इनवाइटिंग द होल वर्ल्ड होल यूनिवर्स यू ऑल आर इनवाइटेड टू ज्वाइन आस इन आवर प्रेयर we like to pray unto the lotus feet of that absolute truth that is unique absolute truth we are going to pray unto the lotus feet of that absolute truth we are praying we are doing bhajan we are going to worship so why not you all come and join us basudev goswami proba speaking basudev goswami going to invite the whole universe why not you all come we are not going to show partiality we are not selfish we are not going to show partiality so that personally i can get that absolute treasure and whole world become foolish not that we are openly cordially we are going to cordially you are all are cordially invited you all come why not you join but point is that nobody interested to do this absolute bhajan first point people they like to understand the utility of the object they like to get people like to people they like to get they like right to realize they like to understand the utility of the object others they don't like to others they don't like to get this way bonded soul never feel any urgency they were bonded soul never feel necessary necessity to do absolute bhajan specially guiham vishuddham dar guiham vishuddham durvadhyam yad yatta amritam asnute about that absolute truth it is it is written in bhagavatam one of this 12 mahajan great personality yamraj ji maharaj is guru our guru he is speaking this is most secret thing secrets of the secrets so secret it is impossible to realize that thing even after coming in bhajan they become busy with some other things they are not concentrating on this particular point for which they leave their home leave their country what is the reason for why come why you are coming you forget the reason those who are going to take sanyas brahmacharya they also forget the reason for why you leave your home to do the bhajan of that absolute they are also speaking maharaj when we left our home our target was good our heart was fair we wanted to do hari bhajan that's why you left our father mother everything and come but after that i don't know how we are develop we are develop in different kind of desire it is due to aparad they speaking really originally many sanyasi many acharya not sanyasi the acharya told me that when i was at home i was doing some simple seva simple very small amount of salary used to draw that time ekadashi day ekadashi day everything was to observe with full respect and we when you is to chant hari naam hari krishna then tears rolling down our cheeks 
they told me personally but now what happens we don't know now everything vanishes this is due to aparad if aparad is there then so common people have I been mean bonded so they always they try to understand the utility of the object for which i can give some energy money why why i can give money energy anything you can show me the utility of that object gurudev can show sadguru vaishnav can show the utility of that object if you are sincere i can put guarantee if you are sincere they can show you the utility of that object that you can forget all your father mother country money everything your lady love you can forget you can understand this is the utility of bhajan human birth human life is for this reason for unique our object unique objective but is very secret thing that's why jamraj ji maharaj speaking bhagavatam e guiham guiham mean very very secret guiham fast vishuddham what kind of purity up to which point you can go you can imagine purity or you can imagine purity up to some certain level oh this purity but that purity is absolute purity what i am speaking about that absolute purity that purity when i can when my heart can touch that absolute purity i know this is my idealism my guru maharaj told me this is your idealism my son there can be so many you know attractive things in the world there can be so many attractive things lucrative thing going to attract me like magnet like magnet attracting anna but still you can come out successful to call to cut all this kind of attraction you can cut very easy provided you have sadguru kripa even bhagwan sri krishna ramchandra bhagwan sri krishna chaitanya mahapu they all going to same same thing they wanted to prove that guru kripa is the most vital thing if guru kripa i am enjoying no maya no father in the world can put me in trouble not possible not possible guru kripa is there and everything guru kripa hi kevalam in upanishad in upanishad it is written that it is not the fault of bonded soul because the secret thing is so suppressed so secretly kept so secretly kept this that it is quite impossible for bonded soul to trace out that's why in upanishad it is written hiran mayena patrena satyasya apahitan mukham hiran what upanishad it is written hiran mayena patrena hiran mayena patrena satyasya apahitan mukham that secret that secret thing is covered up with some golden cover golden cover mean it is written upanishad that how people can know that absolute truth is so secret with golden you know covering it is kept very secretly so that the demons they cannot understand hiron mayin a patrena one golden pot is there and it is kept very secretly very secret hiron mayin a patrena satyasya apahita that absolute truth that absolute truth is preserved by bhagwan in such a way that absolute truth is preserved so secretly that ordinary man cannot those who are going to challenge their own life i challenge my life for bhagwan either i can die or i can do i can do or i can die in between no compromise if you can make this kind of resolution that i cannot make any compromise or anything i cannot make any compromise with my personal enjoyment or enjoyment of the society or country i cannot compromise either i can do or i can die like dhruva maharaj dhruva speaking either i can die or do 
In between there is no compromise. That's why he was successful to get Bhagavan within six months. Only six months. Not six months. Within six months. Not even full six months. How possible? A small boy of five years of old. How possible? Different kind of fear going to put us in problem. Well, if I am going to dedicate all my life, all my money, position, everything, if some problem happens, who can look at me? It is written in Shastra, you will have to give everything to Bhagavan. Partial exchange is not possible. Even if you are going to make some partial, may, you know, going to make some partial exchange, partial exchange with Gurudev, you are cheated. If you are going to make some partial exchange with Gurudev, then you are cheated. So, Krishna Bhajan, if you like to do, then you will have to give total, all, total. And in Upanishad, it is written, it is, keep, it is very secretly kept. Secretly kept means, there is one golden effulgence, nobody can see. Golden effulgence. If we cut this material bondage, all the Devi Dham, if you go up, Bhur, Bhuva, Swa, Maho, Jano, Tapo, Shatto, you can cut this way. Eh? Devi, Maheshu, Teshu, Teshu, Te, Te, Prabhava, Nichaya, Bhitascha, Jeno. This Devi Dham, Mahesh Dham, you can go up, up. After that, Brahma Lok, then after that, you will have to penetrate. You will have to go through Biroja. Biroja means? One river, pure. They are finally will have to take bath. You don't know. Your jivatma, if some contamination there, you will have to take bath in biroja. You will have to cut biroja. Biroja mean you have to clean the dust, material dust particle. If any, you will have to clean yourself because impure thing is not allowed. Impure thing is not at all allowed in, in dham. So your pure purification, your purification, your purification should be extended up to infinity. Your purification should be extended up to infinity. Then after that you can cut biroja, you can clean yourself. After that you can meet with impersonal Brahma effulgence, golden, all golden effulgence, light and light. Oh, you cannot see anything. After that there. Or those are yogi, they are going to submerge. Impersonal Brahma effulgence. After that, you have to cut. After that, you have to meet Sadasip Dham. Sadasip. Sadasip. After that, you have to go again up. Then you can meet with Vaikuntha. And according to a test, you can be given. According to a, according to a test, you, could, you can be, you would be, you would be given the chance to enter. Nishinga Dham or Baraho Dham or Kurma Dham or Ram, Ramchandra, Abad Puri. It depends upon you. I told that day you can remember that sloka, na? According to the test, I told that day you can. That day I told you that according to the test, you can be given the chance. After that, if you go again up and up, you are not getting satisfaction. If you like to exchange a complete love affair with Bhagavan, absolute love, there is no restriction. If there is no restriction, you don't want any restriction. You like to get Bhagavan at you as your friend or beloved, you know. That case you will have to go up and then you can go to Golokdam Vrindavan, not a matter of joke. So it is written in Upanishad that top secret things, that treasure is kept very secretly. Very, very secretly and uh, Jamraji Maharaj speaking <coughs> that Guiham Vishuddham Durvadhyam Durvadhyam means very with your material brain. With your material brain, if you like to understand that absolute truth, you cannot understand. You can try to know, then get a kick and come back. That's why Upanishad it is written, Yato Vacho Nivartanti Aprapa Manasasa. With your mind, intellect, rationality, everything, 
you can try to know Bhagavan. You can go to some certain distance, then you can get a kick by my life, then you can, can come back. You can get a feedback, you cannot understand. That's why it is written that Yato Vacho Nivartantya Prapa Manasasaha. Your speaking power is not sufficient to, to touch the Absolute Torva. Maybe you can pass lecture for hours. Maybe you can pass lectures for hours about Bhagavata, something. Maybe you have some oratorship or proficiency you have. But proficiency is not bhakti. Proficiency is not bhakti. You make confusion. When somebody is speaking very nice Harikata, oh, he's a nice devotee. Not that. Popat was invited, Popat was invited to BHU, Benaras Hindi University. Popat was invited in Bina, BHU, Benaras Hindi University. There is all Vedanta, big, big professor there. They invited Popat to, there is also, Popat established one mat. I've been there many times, one or many times, not two or three times. I went there. And I speak Harikatha anyway. This is not under our control, under the control of some that that group anyway so popat was invited there in a big seminar hall popat going to speak harikatha popat going to speak harikatha those big big professor research scholar doctorate they are sitting after harikatha is over they say we we cannot realize what you are speak what you are speaking we cannot understand so, if you can speak something uh, so that we can realize it's more practical. Papa speaking, it is more practical that if you, if you can go up, come up. Papa speaking, it is more practical, I think, if your standard can go up. If I am going to make my standard low, what is the utility? Then we are going to make compromise, na? I told you, na? Compromise means you will have to take some bad, and eh, you will have to accept some bad from some group or man. Compromise mean compromise mean understanding, mutual understanding. Mutual understanding only possible when you are going to you know going to you know cut some your you are going to cut some of your some of your personal interest and going to accept their interest. That is called compromise. That's why in Hari Bhajan there is no question of any compromise. That's why in Hari Bhajan there is no question of any compromise. Shuddha Hari Bhajan. I am speaking about Shuddha Hari Bhajan. Then there is no compromise. So this is the condition. So Guiham, Vishuddhyam, Durvadhyam is with material brain, you cannot understand. So complicated, you can see what they are discussing, you cannot understand. Because there is no guru kipa. So, it was the rules at least 500 years back, or not even 500. Even 200 years, 300 years back, there was the rules now contaminated. Now contaminated all around. Previously, previously in our society, that was the rules. Those Brahman boys, these Brahman boys, they, suppose they are Brahman. Suppose uh, in heredi heretical factor they are maintaining Brahmanism. If seven heretical factors, seven, one, two, three, four, six, up to seven her heretical factors, if they are not going to maintain Brahmanism, then we cannot confess their Brahman. At present, the standard coming to a low level. At present, previously it was there, seven consecutively. My grand, 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 grandfather. This, they are all Brahman. They used to maintain all pure character, pure, no contamination, no intercaste marriage, nothing. All purity maintained. They, after that standard come, coming to a low level, after the standard come, after at least three generations. Now standard no seven because it's Kalikal. So, at least three generations you will have to prove that your, all your family, everything maintained, pure Brahmanism. And you have Vishnu Bhakti, which is the main factor, which is the most vital factor in the way of your Brahmanism. 
Otherwise, we cannot believe that you are Brahman. Because the main factor. Brahmanism, what, what do you mean by Brahmanism? You have no bhakti for Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, eternal, you know, then no. That's why in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran it is written that in Saptan Skanda, Viprad Disaraguna Yutat Arabindanavo. Padarabindo Vimukhat Sapacham Barishtam. What is it? Bhagavad Mahapuran, who is the topmost evidence, Mahapur told. Bhagavad Mahapuran is the topmost evidence. After that, no evidence. Bhagavad Mahapuran, Mahapur told. There it is written, Viprad Disaraguna Jutat Aravindo Navo Padarabindo Vimukhat Sapacham Barishtam. One Sapach, very low caste. Very low caste, they used to take the and uh, take the flesh of dog, dog. They are killing dog and taking. Yes, at present also tribal. They are going to kill dog. Yeah, yeah. Bharti Maharaj also used to discuss. First of all, the tribal man, they can arrange a big festival, big festival, both for you and both for the good dog. You don't understand what I mean. You, and now I can explain. They used to arrange a big festival, both for the dog they are going to kill, and both for their themselves. How? They are going to arrange a very nice preparation, but very tasteful. And they are going to allow the dog to eat. Allow the dog. Dog is eating a very nice thing, never eat. I am going to take up to this point. Dog. Dog going to eat. After that, they are going to catch the dog and go to some place. And eh? then they are going to beat the dog, beat the dog, beat the dog, dog die. Then they are going to put that whole dog into a fire, roast. Also in Thailand here, there where well, you can see at present in Christmas Day, you can see internet pictures. They are, they are, they are selling the you know, selling the body of, you know, jackal, selling the body of dog, all in the, their new market. Especially in newspaper I saw this picture. They all, who like to get which place they can take. There's a the big festival. Then they are going to kill the dog. After that they are going to make the roast. Roast, you know, in fire. Roast. After that they are going to cut the, cut the, and liver, I mean belly, and food sack, total. Then all the tasteful thing coming from that, tasteful. What already dog took, they are going to take out, <laughs> and they are going to take very nice, tasteful, very tasteful, very costly. India society is very costly. <laughs> this way, they are going to sell, after that they are going to get the flesh of the dog, this way, their enjoyment. So, it is written, Viprat Disaraguna Yutat Aravindo Nava Padarabindo Vimukhat Sapacham Barishtam. If a Brahman is averse, eh, if a Brahman is having aversive attitude, if a Brahman having aversive attitude, then he is not Brahman. Uh, if one Sapach, I mean, very tribal caste, if having bhakti, we can take the dust particle from the lotus feet of that. It is, it is practical, not story. Guhak Chandal, Ramchandra was bound to make a friendship with Guhak Chandal. Ramchandra made friendship with Guhak Chandal, it's Chandal, very low caste. But making a friendship, Ramchandra making a friendship. Ramchandra went to making friendship with all uh, monkeys, Shugrib, and uh, Hanuman, Neil, Nol, they are going to make a nice friendship. Nice friendship. So it is possible for Bhagavan. Don't think it's not possible. Because Bhagavan is going to make friendship with their Atma, spirit. So it's uh, possible. So Viprat, this Viprat, this Araguna, Jutat, Arabindanava. So, if one locust is there, still we can pay honor to him. Is because in Krishna Bhajan, there is, 
irrespective of your caste, you know, caste and position, everything, then you are allowed to do Hari Bhajan. It is not so important that you are from Russia, Australia, wherever, which country. But if you are doing bhajan, you are important. If you are doing bhajan, then you can be giving honor. It is not that he is from here, there, no, no that, not that. I already told many times, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's group, Haridas Thakur is from Muslim caste, but so what? Mahaprabhu is going to give the topmost honor. Mahaprabhu is going to give the topmost honor to Haridas Thakur. Nobody is getting this kind of honor. Because Nama Charju. Nama Charju means Bhagavan speaking that Nam, Bhagavan Nam is more and more important than Bhagavan. Though same, Nam Nami we know same, but still Bhagavan Nam is, should be given more, first priority. Bhagavan Nam should be given first priority, is the topmost. So if Bhagavan, Bhagavan speaking himself, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna Nam is all. Krishna Nam, Shadda, Shadan, Tattva, Jekiju, Shagal. Whatever you are thinking about Shadda, Shadan, Tattva, all you can get by Harinam, Sankirtana, Paive, Shagal. All you can get. That means Mahaprabhu also going to give the priority of Harinam. And that Harinam is not a matter of joke. Not a matter of joke. Then Haridas Thakur is Namacharya. That means that's mean even Rupsanathan is not getting, getting this kind of full honor. Namacharya means stop. All the eternal parsad of Mahapra, Mahaprabhu, among them, Haridas Thakur is the only, is the only person who is, going to get, who is going to get the topmost honor. So you see? So Nam is very important. Then Nam Prabhu. You can meet with Bhagavan by the help of Nam Prabhu. You can meet with Bhagavan with Nam Prabhu. By the help, not Nam, with by chanting Hari Nam with extreme honor and respect, love. You can meet with all Leela, all Dharma, all you can you can see what doing Namana. You can see all Bhagavan, Bhagavan Parshad, Nama, Dharma, all like you know, Brahma could see. All clearly by the help of Nama. So it's not a matter of joke. So you see, so Nam is very important. So and, and devotees, which caste, which country, not so important. It depends upon how much sincerity there, how much love there. According to that, you can get result. So I was I was speaking about that absolute truth about which it is written, Guiham, Vishuddham, Turbadhyam. Durbadhyam, you can think it's complicated. That is why in Chaitanya Charitamrita it is written, Siddhanta Boliya Chitte Nakara Alas. That is why it is written. Siddhanta Boliya Chitte Nakara Alas, Yahoite Krishna Lage Sudhira Manas. You don't understand Bengali. You should all learn, learn. My Guru Maharaj used to say, if you want to taste the cream and enjoyment, nectar, you have to learn. Anyway, <clears throat> language is not so important, but still important. Maybe. Language is not so important. By, which, by the help of one pure sadhu, if you don't understand language, still the bhava can be translated into your heart. Not understand language, but the bhava enter. When elevated sadhu speaking Harikatha, doing Kirtan, so, Guiyam Vishuddham Durvadhyam Yadgyatta Amrita Mashnute. Very complicated. I already told now, if you try, all your effort can come out failure. It's not possible. But if you take shelter of a realized soul, a sadhu, who is going to, who is going to guide the whole world perfectly, without any self-interest, who is going to make urine and stool on Pratishtha, material Pratishtha, what you would like to give? He is less interested. His Harikatha is for the complete satisfaction of Bhagavan. I already told yesterday, Papa speaking, my Harikatha is my topmost servitorship. My Harikatha is nothing 
My Harikatha is not an instrument to collect name fame position. My Harikatha is not an instrument to collect name fame position. My Harikatha is to give satisfaction to Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. I mean the topmost servitorship of Guru Vaishnava. This is my Harikatha. If you can enjoy that kind of kipa from such an elevated sadhu, then you can drive. The reason for why I was speaking so much saying that on those days, previously, there was a system. Even one Brahman boy, suppose Brahman boy, suppose, is okay. Still, he has no right to go through Shastra. It was the rules. Now at present, nobody obey. It was the rules, even Brahman boy, they have their right now. They have, by birth, so they can reserve the right to go through Shastra. Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Gayatri. But it is written, so long as they are not going to get Sanskar, so long as they are not going to get Sanskar and Gayatri, till then, they have no right to go through Ved, Vedanta, nothing. It was the strict rules. That's why I told you that day, our Gopal Bhattu Goswami, Gopal Bhattu Goswami small, in small age, Prabhupada Saraswati Pad giving Skarthet, Gayatri. After that, he was able to get admission in the school of Prabhupada Saraswati. He was a teacher, very nice professor. He used to give teaching to small boys. Now, in our society, many times I told, we need not make big, big building, big, big temple, society. We need to prepare that like the small boy, you know, that backside you. The small boy, we need to get that kind of boy to take in lab and teach him he can become Acharya in future. This we need. At present, we didn't need money. Many times it openly. It is my request. You try to pay attention to the fact this kind of small boys, six, seven, five, you can bring them and train them and then they can protect the whole society. If I cheat this small boy, he can become a cheater in future. If I am cheater, I am going to cheat him and accordingly he can also cheat the whole. This way, multiple way. Follow, multiple. You cannot see the reaction. You can think I am mad. You don't know. Previously it was one pointed. Now this one pointed making branches, multiple branches. Multiple branches of cheating people. Multiple branches of cheating people. This way we are not uh, meeting with reality. Reality is Bhagavan. Reality is not money. Reality is not woman. Reality is not my position that I am Acharya. Not reality means the absolute reality, absolute truth. But this is the condition. We will have to make arrangement and train them. Hello, this way we will have to organize. Then in future, you can see, they like to destroy the whole society for personal benefit. Even for little personal benefit. They can sell Gauriya's, Gauriya literature, Gauriya everything. They can sell whole library. Whole our Gauriya Siddhanta Vijay, they can speak. To destroy the whole world. To get a slight patishtha. I can get, so somebody can give money, position. For that, we are, we are in such a position that we are acting as a pros. Papa speaking, I am not speaking. We are now acting as a pros. Pros can do anything for little money, can sell body, anything. This kind of condition with our society, devotional society. We can sell everything. We are not ready to protect the interest of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. We are not interested to protect the interest of Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur, Gauriya society. Our interest is to arrange my pratishta. Whole world can give garland, worship me, Jagat Guru, Brahma Guru, can speak this way. So, you see, I already told you, very, very secret. When you can cut whole Maya, after cutting Maya, still there is no opportunity. After cutting Maya, you, can, you cannot think that I can get Bhagavan. No! After cutting whole Maya, you are out of contamination out of the contamination, I mean the out of the influence of three modes of nature. That is your neutral point. 
Newton, not that. You can cut Maya, after that you can say, I get Bhagavan, not that. That is the starting point. When you cut Maya, that's when you are coming to a neutral point now. Now it depends upon, you can do bhajan or not do it. That is a kindergarten, you know, like infant kindergarten boys reading, as you are going to. After cutting Maya, you can come to a position. Now, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, you can, if you can get bhakti, more and more you can go and do bhajan. Otherwise, you can become impersonalist. There is every possibility. You can become mayavadi, impersonal, who can say? So, Popa told, after going out of Maya, what is your target? Okay, you are out of Maya. Then, then, what it concerned to us? You are out of Maya, okay, out of Maya, but what is your target now? What do you like to do? Hari Bhajan or not? Then it depends upon. After cutting Maya, what is your target? If you are not doing Hari, then what is the utility? What is the utility of cutting Maya? So anyway, there is a big, you know, discussion, very secret discussion. Anyway, we are discussing about, about these, you know, Abadhut Sanyasi, we are discussing about Abadhut Sanyasi and Jadu Maharaj. Because Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to speak. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, well, I can speak you so many Siddhanta Vichar. I can go on speaking. But, first of all, first, first of all I like to speak you some story. It is not story. Out of that incident, you can learn so many things. Like what happened long ago, the discourse, I mean discussion took place between Jadu Maharaj and, and Jadu Maharaj and the Avadu Shanyasi, more practical. So on those days, previous some day for, for a long time, we are discussing about how Mayadevi can catch us. All different way. Mayadevi making, Mayadevi making infinite, infinity planning. In your private life, you can make some plan, something. But Mayadvi plan is infinity. He's making such a plan, how to, how to throw you into Maya. Mayadvi all infinity way, different way of making plan, network. How eh, you can go and, eh, go and you can go and become a, a you know, you become, you know, a victim, victim, you know, victim, become victim. So, this way, Abhadud Maharaj speaking, so I was discussing about, uh, you can remember, about how material people, though I am speaking so many things, I, I heard from Guru Bhargava, so many things I heard, but where is realization? Where is realization? Practical, we need... Harikatha mean we need practically, okay, we can go on hearing and we can do according to our own fanciful desire. Not that. Where is the realization? We need realization, na? Realization is the main thing. If after hearing, after taking diksha from Gurudev, Vaishnava, everything, association, no realization, then what use? That means association is not perfect. You can remember maybe two, three years back, Maybe two three, years, two, three years back I told, I can remember, that one so-called man, one so-called man, whom you can say devotee, one so-called man, whom you can say devotee, but I cannot say devotee, because I know the symptom of devotees. For the past 20 years, for the past 20 years, he is coming in Goryamat. For the past 20 years, he is coming in Goryamat, giving some donation in the box, uh, arranging something, something, doing. And going parikram, taking charnamitha, and praying to Bhagavan and going back. For 20 years, but still he is not going to start Hari Bhajan. Follow what he say. For 20 years, maybe for 20 years you are hearing me, but if you are not going to uh, increase your consciousness, if you are not going to feel helpless without Guru Kipa, then your Diksha is useless. That man for 20 years coming, every day almost, 
but not feeling, but not feeling necessary, not feeling it necessary to start Hari Bhajan by accepting a Sadguru, not feeling. There Jiva Goswami was speaking that he is, you can see he looks like devotee, but he is not devotee. He is not devotee because he is not going to start even Hari Bhajan. He is not going to feel, he is not going to feel it necessary to take shelter of a Sadguru. We can say that your Harikatha is okay, your hearing. We can say that your hearing Harikatha is perfect. When? When you are going to feel, I need Guru. Where is Guru? I need some Guru who can percept me, who can deliver me. Until and unless you are going to feel that kind of feeling is not there, then I cannot say that you are, you are kapat. You are kapat. So this way, when you are going to feel that you need Guru, you are crying. I myself know. I was feeling disturbance. Oh, man, where I can go? Where I can search my Guru? This way. And praying daily. Daily, I am getting big mala. Big. Very costly mala. And going to give to Govinda. Bhagavan, you take. You arrange my Guru. Where is my Guru? For a long time, I am searching. After that, Bhagavan pointed out, this is your Guru. I already... Nobody guide me. You come, here is a nice Guru. Nobody guide me. Nobody guide me to get my Guru. Automatically get my Guru. So I believe, so I believe if you are sincere, 100%, you must get Guru. Because it is the commitment of Prabhupada. Prabhupada speaking, at all, suppose at all, suppose at all, Suppose at all, if you are going to get satsanga, or at all you are going to get Sadguru, then you be sure the arrangement done by Baldev, Prabhupada speaking, be sure this arrangement not done by you. Out of, out of, your, out of your personal effort, you cannot match. Uh, if Dwallaji Maharaj is going to arrange, bless you, you can meet with one Sadguru and you can find a clear way how to go, how to go, up to go. Because without accepting a Sadguru, you have no chance. Because Guru is blind. Guru himself is blind. How he can blind? How? He is himself blind. He is not realized soul. Now how he can, he can guide you? Like, you know, I told that day, uh, uh, Pitama, Pitama Bhisho, on Parsuram going to put pressure, put pressure. Then Parsuram putting pressure. Then ultimately he is going to throw Guru. Huh? Useless. Going to speak all rubbish? He throw Guru. I mean material Guru, material Guru can be thrown anytime. Material Guru can be thrown anytime. It is the rules. You will have to accept Sadguru. You will have to accept Sadguru. It is written. Avaishnava Mukhapadishtam Mantrena Nirambajat. This is the evidence from Sastra. Avaishnava Upadishta Mantrena. Avaishnava Upadishta Mantrena Nirambajat. But it's a must. You are, you are surely going to hell if you are going to accept one bonded soul as Guru. If you are going to accept one, if you are going to accept one fallen soul as your idealism, you are surely going to hell. With your Guru, all your followers are going to. So, if you are at all going to get mantra from such a source, it is written that you will have to discard, you will have to leave that Guru and accept another Guru, Shad Guru. So, Avaishnava Upadeshta Mantrena Nirayang Bajat Punascha Vidhina Grahet Vaishnava Bad Guru. You will have to accept Absolute Guru. Otherwise, you cannot get. Anyway, I can discuss day by day all the secrecy about bhajan, but time cannot permit. It is very <coughs> within short limit. So I was discussing how people they are foolish. <coughs> they are going to protect their own interest. They are very much clever about protecting bank money, 
different sources, land and property, but they are not, <coughs> they are not clever. They are not actually clever, they are foolish number one, idiot number one. I already told them that Gita, Bhagavan speaking. In Gita, Bhagavan speaking, Janisha Sarva Bhutanam Tassam Jagrati Sangyami. Those who are controlled, those who are sadhu, their character, if you say, they are so controlled. In front of them, full enjoyment waiting for them. But they are going to discuss. In front of them, if you are there in place of such a sadhu, if you are there, you can go away by this tide. You know, you can go away where? The stream can take you away. But in front of pure sadhu, there is all lucrative offer. Name, fame, whole world going to give God less interest. So they think that we are intelligent. But the sadhu, they are very clever. They are very clever about the interest of their atma. About their, about their interest of atma. They are very careful, the sadhu. Whereas those foolish people, they are very clever about, about material things. They like to preserve money, position, everything. Oh. They are, they are clever, really clever, like, but like a jackal. Jackal clever, you know? Jackal is very clever. You are clever like jackal. <laughs> yeah, jackal. And crow, crow, you know, crow is very clever. But ultimately, you get to, going to get stool. Crow is very clever. Yeah. Crow is very clever, but ultimately going to get stool. So clever. But quail, you know, coo, coo going to take very nice sweet thing. There is a difference between looking same. Crow and quail looking like same. His black is black. Even quail going to make full of crow. But when they are going to give egg, they're giving the egg in their nest. Nest, you know, their room. Ultimately that crow going to give give hatching after that uh, you know that baby come out. And after, crow thinking it is like me, my, my baby, but not their baby. Finally, when, very clever, when that baby grew up, I mean flying arrangement, then leaving that nest and go away. So quail going to make full of crow. Quail can be compared with sadhu. They are not making anything, temple, nothing. They are going to enter into some place and speak harikatha, make, I mean they are going to preserve the interest, shown by Mahaprabhu, and they fly. Okay, you take. Now no need. They are not going to be involved. They are not going to be involved in this kind of, you know, because they are very clever. In your place they can go and speak Harikatha. Everything they can make. I mean, their target is fulfilled, and they go. So, now, point is that, then Gita, Bhagavan speaking, those who are pure sadhu, they are very clever. They are going to, they are going to preserve and reserve their personal in personal investment of bhajan. But whereas the material people, they think we are very clever, but they are sleeping about all those matters. It is like just like darkness. Follow about spiritual matters, internal. It is just like the darkness, the night time, they are sleeping. I mean, they are not showing any concern. Oh, okay, no problem. It is just, can be compared with darkness. Like in a darkness, people sleeping, no? Oh, they are not thinking about, you know, this interest, actual interest. I was speaking, no? You started now, uh, previous day. Eh? I was speaking, no? Uttishchata jagro, uttishchata jagro to prapa barano nibodhato. Kurasadhara Nishitaya Durgam Patastat Kavayo Vadanti. Get up. Why you are sleeping? Why you are unconscious? Get up. Get your, develop your consciousness. There is a huge amount of treasure, unique treasure waiting for you. You are not taking. Why? Also for you it is waiting. You are not taking this way. So, yesterday I was speaking that how those Merciless man, they are going to break the hive, beehives, 
Because honeybee is going to collect honey for a long time, maybe one year, two years, and one, you know, man coming, merciless, is going to break the hive and collecting honey and going away. Oh my God! For so long that they are collecting from their different, different places, you know, honey, but at a time they are going, coming with fire, and they are going to, eh? and going to break, and they are going to collect honey and go. This way, throughout, throughout your life, you are trying to preserve your, your personal interest, I mean, material interest. But you don't know. I already told the case of that, you know, sir, that, that Tridandi Sanyasi. He was very much interested to collect money, position, everything. But finally, what happens? All gone. He become a street beggar. He become a street beggar. Finally, what happens? Suddenly, he rea his realization going up. He's thinking that today I think Bhagavan is satisfied with me. Otherwise, today I am going to realize eh, <clears throat> that all useful, all my home, I mean building, all money, position, all useless, my children. Now I can realize Bhagavan is the only objective. So, <clears throat> So in your, in your life, in our life, we should meet with we should meet with big problem, because it can give a turning point in our life. Follow what I say. In our life, we should meet with different kind of great great problem. I mean life risks, my life going. Then and only then, eh, it is it can be a one turning point in your life. You can look back. Really so. For so long I was playing with my life. Now I realize I need Bhagavan. Without whom we are all helpless. Otherwise you cannot do it. If you are feeling comfortable, that means your bhajan is not good. If all devotees are feeling, okay, nice, I am doing, taking prasad on time, AC, DC, all hot water, cold water, then big problem. All we are thinking about physical amenities. Feeling, different kind of. But we are not going to think we are put in such a position from where it is really impossible to do, to, to run towards Bhagavan. We are going on. This way that yesterday I was discussing how that merciless man coming and break the beehives and going to take collector now. So this man that merciless man going to teach me, if you are going to collect all things in your life to, sec to secure your life, to secure your private life or family life anyway, but there is no certainty. You are controlled by some unknown magic. You don't know. You are controlled by some unknown magic where you have no idea. You can try your best, but you can come out failure. There is no guarantee. Man, man going to plan, man going to plan, but if Bhagavan going to approve, then it is possible. If Bhagavan not going to approve, then whatever you do, no use. Who can know? Those who are having billions of dollars in their life, Billions of they could not understand. Now the plane flying, and after you know, after one hour, the plane can crash. They couldn't realize. They couldn't realize even two minutes before they are enjoying their life, but they don't know. Any time, any problem can happen. Any time, I am not speaking that you can meet with. You. No, I am not speaking, but any time this can happen. But our life is totally. You know, uncertain. I can discuss this point as well. Today, evening time. Time cannot pass. So uncertain. Anyway, our life is uncertain. You cannot secure your... If you like to secure your life, then you, you will have to do Hari Bhajan. It is a security. Ah, there is no security. Any amount of money, amount of manpower, money, any. No security. No guarantee what will happen when. So, Somebody, you know, learning 
judo, karate, anything. No, no, follow. I am laughing. You are giving so much energy to learn martial art, judo, karate, because somebody can attack. Who can attack when, how, no security, why should I give so much time for that? No security, who can attack when? Is there any security somebody can attack me? Eh? Is there any guarantee somebody can attack me? So why should I give so much time? Foolish man. Like that day I was speaking, uh, some man learned by yoga to walk over water. <laughs> like this. Or I can pay two, two rupees only and cross over the river. Why should I take trouble? The Hari Bhajan is more practical. So this way, we learn from that man, merciful man, Look, man, if you are going to preserve all, try to secure your life, but be sure that there is no security of your life. No security. No security of your own life. How you can secure your life, life of your wife? How you can secure the love of, of your children? No security. You cannot even secure your life also. Whereas you can, how you can secure? No guarantee. So, he is my 15th guru. He is my 15th number guru. That man, cruel man. And my 16th number guru is dear. Dear, you know, Harin. Dear, very nice. <coughs> so, that guru, because dear is very foolish. Foolish in the sense, if you are going to play a very nice, sweet, you know, tune. Oh, and playing on fluids, then uh, deer always like to hear sweet sound. Deer always is very fond, he like to hear. So, one hunter is going to play on fluids. And that deer, so nice sound, ah, is going to run, going to run and reach that spot from where, which source this coming. Finally, what happens? You see, hunter going to kill. Hunter going to kill, by the way. So, my 16th guru is Harin, deer. He, Harin, deer, feeling attraction of sweet sound. Bangshit Dhani. But I have no idea. There is one network. There is one trap. Foolish, you are running. There is one trap. No idea. He's running and running, running and running. Finally, he's caught into trap. I have no idea. There's one trap. I was going to catch. Then going to kill and take. Take away. This way. This way, be careful. Mahaprabhu wanted to do everything for us. What not? But we are foolish, idiot, dumb and deaf. Mapo wanted to speak so many things. You need not go anywhere. Mapo already told so many secrecy of bhajan. But who can understand? You yourself can take Chaitanya Bhagavad Chaitanya. You cannot understand. But if you hear from a sadhu, someday I like to discuss Chaitanya Charitamrita. You can go mad. So nice Gauranga Leela. But when to start? You make such an arrangement, so whole day and night we can do it. Have to make arrangement. Same place, not different, scattered. So this way, those who are going to lead their material life, they are married or non, they are married or not married. That's not a big thing, but they are leading material life. And material life, there is different kind of attractive things. You know, very. Maybe they are married or not married, that's not a bad. Those who are, you know, speaking all material things, Mahaprabhu already told to Raghunath Das Gosai, but it is for us. Raghunath is eternal person, but Mahaprabhu speaking, Grammo katha na kohibe, Grammo vartha na bulibe, Grammo vartha na kohibe, Grammo vartha na sunibe. Material talkings you cannot speak, material things you cannot, you know, hear, Mahaprabhu speaking. If you are going to hear material talking, where the topics is very, because material talkings, material talking is very sweet, no? Material talkings is very sweet. At present, situation is so complicated. The eye, 
It's a really hopeless condition almost. Those teachers, in our time, we meet with such big, big teachers. Very nice. We used to respect them. At present, teachers, what do? Practically, some professor teacher told me. I am not making any story. The teachers, in the leisure time, noon, noon time and break time, they are sitting in one place, group, with tea and everything, and this, they are discussing all dirty things among them, their private life. Particularly, professor told me, well, Maharaj, I like to go away, I am Vaishnava, but they are in group, they sit, but in our time we know, our, our master, they used to sit in Vaishya, I have, we have no money, we used to go to the leisure time, because private teacher is not their private teacher. Any problem used to approach teacher, you are sitting and going to help us. But at present, this is the condition. What that kind of small boy can learn from school, what they can expect. Their character is loose. They, are, they themselves are loose character. What they can, they can make any moral character of that small boys, cannot do. So, by these teachings, the 16th, now 16th number Guru, this is all material talking is going on. Friend, lady friend, all oh, they are sitting and talking, very sweet talkings, material talk. But they don't know, the more they discuss about their material talking, the more they open internet and, and search something which is suitable for them. Anywhere they are going to put themselves down and down and down, where they can go, finally they can get lost in the infinity world. In infinity world. If somebody is going to lose, uh, if somebody is going to leave body and not doing bhajan perfectly, where I can go in infinity world to search where the jivatma gone? Suppose somebody going to leave body. So where I can go? Infinity world. Where the atma gone? Where I can search? The atma, he used to hear Harikatha from me, let me search where that atma gone. Impossible, can go. Anyway, there is one Siddhanta, nice secret Siddhanta, so that you can feel some inspiration. Parambe Siddhar Gosima used to speak this Siddhanta, and I also speak same under their guidance. But anyhow, 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 if you are going to make one link with one pure Vaishnava, somehow, not successful, but still you can get opportunity next life. Somehow, you are not successful. That devotee, that pure, you know, somehow can pull you. But for this, for, but, but, but that, but for that reason, it is not, you know, good for us to wait for next life. It is good if we can utilize our life, this, this, this life is, you know, you have to use it. So, all material talking is all around. Especially, sometime I am going to tear my hair. Only, only 15 years back, not more. 15 years back, 16 years back, there is no mobile in our society. Some very important man, they used to cell phone. Very important man. And 20 years back, there was no question of any mobile. Today, one fisherman, one man who is going to sell sabji, you know, green vegetable, or who is going to clean that, you know, road, they all have a big, big mobile. That is one kind of trap of Mayadevi. Even small boy, small boy, very small boy, just two years, one year. If mother not going to give mobile, she can, he cannot stop crying. The boy crying. Mother giving solution, I say, you are giving mobile? Well, he is habituated. If I give mobile, he can play game and he can become happy. This is a condition. The more, you are get, the more you are going to get involved, the more you are going to get involved in these material things, your level of consciousness can go down. At present, you cannot show me one single man who is going to concentrate in Shastra, they have no time, no patience. All depend upon mobile. Even if I ask, ask somebody, to this, this, 
the digit or three digit, you make calculation, he is going to take the help of uh, calculator or mobile. This way our brain going out of, we don't know. The more you depend upon machinery, mobile or so many things, material things, you are going to lose yourself. Because you cannot play your brain, your brain become ideal. On those days, small boys, we used to do all rap in our exam paper, na? Exam paper. Big exam paper. There is some line where right hand side, right hand that space is given for our calculation. We can calculate everything, finally you can get the result and put here. But at present, all calculator. That they are, that's why their brain going on. Their brain day by day they are going to lose power. And they are going, going to get power about wickedness that given power. How to play the streak, politics, this and so day by day we become useless. So you to utilize, like I can discuss this point someday, how clever Ambaris Maharaj, how clever wanted to utilize all sense organ. You don't think Ambaris Maharaj is foolish. Ambaris Maharaj is the topmost intelligence, he used to utilize all sense organ. I, someday I can discuss. At the time, not problem, time is over. So how Parikhidma wanted to utilize all sense organ? So that each and every sense organ can, can develop the maximum, most sensitivity to catch the lotus feet of Bhagavan. So nice. Anyway, so the more, it is, though the more you are discussing material things, the more you are going to put yourself into trap of Maya. Like the deer, follow this way. Jang Bamma Barun in the Ruth of Maruto, Stun Banti de Boistaboi, Bedai Shanga Padakrama Ponishadoi, Gayanti Yam Samoga, then I was Tita de Gotina Manasa, Pashanti Yam Yogina, Yasam Tamna Bidu Sura Suragana, Deva Yatas Mainama, Banchakal Potrosiva. 